Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. This is Faria from Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Cancer Hospital. Hi, Faria. And this is uh, Dr. Hemika Mukhopadhyay, our hemato oncologist. So, hi, ma'am. Hi. Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, I have certain questions for you. My first question is, what is NIOS and what is the significance of NIOS? Okay. So NEOS is our Onco Summit that we are arranging from NCRI Hospital every year where we actually try to bring uh, comprehensive cancer care along with uh, discussions on researches that are happening in the field of cancer and we also include our research wing in this process along with the clinical discussions that makes NEOS really really special. How NCRI is bringing change in terms of comprehensive cancer care? It's a great question. Actually, NCRI is, although in terms of its size, it's a relatively smaller hospital, but uh, we are really blessed to have a state-of-art uh, facility for cancer care here. We do not need to go anywhere else, starting from diagnosis to end-of-life support. We have everything available under one roof. Uh, all the departments of oncology, including hemato-oncology, medical oncology, radiation oncology, surgical oncology, head and neck, ortho-oncology, every department that you can name uh, under the umbrella of uh, oncology are available along with other departments which uh, we really need to carry on our work. That really makes our work uh, different, I would say, because it's a compre like you Correct. mentioned, it's a comprehensive Correct. cancer center. Yes. As a hemato-oncologist, what are the services that are there under your department? So, as a hemato-oncologist, also I am practicing as a hematologist. I see both patients from hemato-oncology which are leukemias, lymphomas, myelomas and along with that we are also seeing uh, general hematology patients like thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, bone marrow failure syndrome like aplastic anemia and other genetic disorders. Also, we are seeing a lot of coagulation disorders, also platelet disorders. These are the kind of patients that we are dealing with. And along with that, we also have BMT facility, bone marrow transplant facility unit, which uh, is uh, completely, uh, we have also uh, finished a uh, few bone marrow transplants successfully here. So we have all that, those facilities available under one roof and I also have excellent backup support here uh, to carry on my work. So as you mentioned about this backup support, so uh, what is this backup support that you get in NCRI which you think is lacking behind in other hospitals? So our hospital also, uh, I mean they have excellent lab facilities and they have also have state-of-the-art transfusion medicine department. So I, as a hematologist, I am quite dependent on these two departments yes, to carry correct, on my work. Correct. And here we are doing molecular genetic, cytogenetic tests along with our uh, uh, all the immunohistochemistry markers are available in our laboratory and in our blood bank. I have the facility of all types of aphoresis procedures, including stem cell harvesting and cryopreservation which I need to do for my bone marrow transplant patients. Also, they have the facility of therapeutic plasma exchange, therapeutic RBC exchange which are not being done in a lot of hospitals and I do not have to refer patients anywhere else uh, for the, getting these procedures done. I can get everything done under one roof one here in our hospital. Yes, where patients are like not harassed under your yes, department. Yes, yes. Even in terms of uh, investigations and radio radiology department, we have all the MRI, PET, CT scan, everything available under so one roof. So they can group. just, you know, yeah, we go can around. Co we always, all the consultants from different departments, we coordinate amongst each other and we try to give the best kind of treatment that are available. Also, I would like to mention one point which is uh, very very rare which we usually not done in other hospitals all the new patients that are presenting here in our OPD uh, they are they usually go through uh, oncology board medical okay. board where okay. all the oncologists and all the department uh, consultants sit together and decide on the management of the patient and the patient then is referred to the concerned department mm -hmm. so for every patient this kind of facility I have not seen or heard because I have worked in other hospitals as well. This kind of facility I have not seen. For every patient, uh, we are doing medical board. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.